Number 5. Daxum 4. Daxum 4 is a very desolate outer rim planet. The reason it has found itself on this list is because of how cold it is. Some sources state that Daxum 4 is nearly three times as cold as hot, and if any other race other than the inhabitants, the Amaxines, landed there, they would need heavy protective gear. Number 4. Gan. Gan is a planet that much like Daxum 4 is only home to one species, also known as Gan. The reason this planet is on this list is because of the fog that surrounds the planet, called ammonia. Ammonia is poisonous for practically all of welders. The GAN themselves still had to wear respirators to survive the atmosphere. Because of the toxic and deadly atmosphere, invasion was practically impossible to anybody. Number 3. Kamino. Kamino is a fierce aquatic planet home to the Kaminoans. The Kaminoans are one of the most secretive and harsh races in the entire galaxy, and nobody knows how civilization started there. With its constant dark atmosphere and never-ending deadly sea, one can only assume the Kaminoans have to be an evolved and very intelligent aquatic species to inhabit such an unforgiving planet. Number 2. Clytus 5 Clytus 5 is a planet that is inhabited by no races, and for good reason. It is known as one of the most dangerous planets because of the storms that never stop. Clytus 5 has a one central and huge storm, causing the planet to have a crimson eye visible from orbit, as well as having multiple deadly storms at all sectors of the planet at once. Number 1. Lothar Minor Lothar Minor is literally a planet with millions upon millions of tons worth of junk that just sits there. The amount of junk has led to the planet becoming sick, therefore developing acid rain. Acid rain is the least of your problems on this planet. There are also mechanical creatures that will do their best to kill you on sight. This, combined with the extremely hot temperatures and acid rain, makes it one of the worst planets in the Star Wars universe. Question of the day. If you were to create a planet, what type of planet would you choose? For me personally, I would create a cold planet that humans could actually live on and not have to wear protective gear. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if you're feeling extra generous, maybe hit that subscribe button.